What's up guys? You guys got me to 100 subs, so this is gonna be uh, the first video without my mask, so let's just get right to it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, 100 subs. Just like I promised, if you guys got me to 100, uh, I'm gonna start doing the videos without a mask, so. I am genuinely, genuinely happy and appreciate everyone that uh, subbed to the channel. And yeah, it, it's crazy to even think about that a hundred people uh, are watching my videos or have subbed to my channel. Uh, I'll say a cool maybe 80, 90, cause I'm sure I have some of my family members that sub to me, but yeah, cool 80 or 90 of you, complete strangers decided to sub to the channel. And I don't know, that's just crazy to think about because uh, yeah, growing up, I just felt like I'm such an introverted person. Uh, uh, I guess this video, I'll just talk about myself a little bit. And yeah, you guys can get to know me a bit. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I'll just keep talking. And I'll try to do this in one take, but there might be cuts in the video because I tend to take pauses between when I'm like thinking about stuff. So yeah, there, there's probably going to be some cuts here and there, but I'll try to do this all in one take. Um, but yeah. Uh, what's up guys? Chris from Closet Weeb here, and we're back in my closet to do the no mask video. So, um, huh, let's start. Uh, so, I started watching anime when I was a kid, Saturday morning cartoons, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, all that stuff, waking up. Um, and then, yeah, I've always liked anime, but I think I stopped until Naruto first came out in uh, Toonami time. And I remember I'd always watch it with my cousin. We'd go over to their house, and I, I vividly remember watching the um, Zabuza arc. And yeah, I, I fell in love with Naruto. That is, I'd say, my favorite anime no contest i don't care what what other animes there's gonna be great shows i know i'm gonna watch but naruto will always be my bias um as you can see i think some of y'all might have seen this tattoo in the in other videos but my favorite character itachi and if you look closely uh he has like hisoka's uh star and teardrop on him itachi is my favorite character from naruto hisoka is my favorite from hunter hunter just decided to fuse those two together and uh, I really relate to a lot of anime characters Itachi being one of them um, you know it, for those who haven't watched Naruto you can you can just skip ahead I'm just gonna say some spoiler stuff but um, the fact that Itachi was always watching over Sasuke like in the shadows and stuff I always thought that was really cool. He, he always loved his little brother, even though he put on the front that uh, he, he wanted to just make him stronger and hate him, but it was all out of love. And I see myself just like Itachi because I might not show too much emotion, but like on, on social media, I have an Instagram. Uh, I don't really communicate with a lot of people, but I love I love seeing people post stuff about how they're doing and how successful what what successes they're going through, getting a house, getting an apartment, having kids. I always love seeing that, and I'm always rooting for everyone. You know, I want everyone to end up being happy. There's so much negativity in the world out here, and the fact that a hundred people, about a hundred people, sub to my channel, and I'm communicating with a bunch of you guys through these shows. And you guys are telling me I'm doing a good job, and uh, it really does mean a lot. You know, uh, I started watching reaction channels during COVID time, and it was really cool. I big shout out to channels like RTTV, your boy Roshi, uh, Iman, the Normies, um, Abby, Kareen. Um, who else? I'm probably missing some, but uh, those are those are some channels I was watching uh, during COVID, and I just thought to myself, you know, that'd be pretty cool to start making videos to my react or of my reactions to certain shows and trying to build my own community too. And when 
people started clicking on the videos and commenting and I started seeing um, some norm some uh, consistent watchers I should say you know like Dismo on the classroom of the elite videos uh, Big Flop and Nico on like Call of the Night um, Frenchie on the Mushishi videos and now there's uh, also Crystal and Layla who are watching the Mushishi videos and then other smaller reaction channels that uh, sub to me, I sub back to, you know, we're just all out here trying to uh, build our communities and it's, it's, it's amazing to see, you know, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's just so, so awesome to think that people are watching my videos and uh, they enjoy it. Um, I'll always remember the very first comment that I got on one of my videos. Let me just pull it up real quick. Yeah, E E Lord T. He was like the very first person that commented on one of my videos. And he came from one of my fitness videos I posted up. And he like you I'm telling you guys you have no idea how much positive uh how how these positive comments and uh really affect me, you know. Back in the day as if I saw one negative comment I would have just stopped and whatever, but with this, I, I really do just want to keep continuing to make videos, you know. If one person, if only one person enjoys what uh, I put out, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll still keep making videos for that one person. And the fact that a hundred people are subbed, you know, that just motivates me to just want to keep going, keep growing, and talking to you guys, it's fun, you know. People uh, who, who have um, similar tastes in anime, find finding uh, someone like me entertaining. I don't know. They enjoy watching me. It's <laughs> it's crazy to think about, but you you guys really have no idea how much it means to me. And I forgot to do a big shout out to a uh, Lofi girl. I know it's Lofi, but I've I've always said Lofi. But I always play uh, her music in the background on the intros because. And I have her music playing right now because it still feels awkward to me um, talking into just a quiet, quiet closet. And yeah, it's 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 fun, you know. I love you guys gave me something to do because um, ever since COVID, I think I for sure developed some some form of social anxiety. I'm sure a lot of us have. You know, being locked in the house and having to like quarantine and whatnot. Um, I'm sure it affected a lot of us and I could tell my social skills for sure got worse and um, going out in public, I just don't even try and talk to anyone. I'm not lying when I say I don't have a, a big social circle. Um, I usually just hang out with my family. I have like zero friends, but like I said, on my Instagram, I follow like some some high school friends and I love I love seeing them post stuff and uh, seeing what they're doing but I just always felt like um, as much as I would like to hang out with people I always feel like I'm gonna be a burden or like a bother because like everyone has their own thing going on and yeah like in high school um, I, I felt like I always clicked with people, but I never had like close, close friends. In high school, um, I had a girlfriend from freshman to senior year. We were together all four years. And then I felt like I only spent time with her at the time. And uh, not to put blame on anyone, but like that's just where I was comfortable, just like hanging out with her. And like after high school and whatnot, uh, things didn't work out, whatever, we break up. And I just felt like, dang, I really don't have like any, I'm not really close with anyone from high school or friends. I went to college, uh, but when I went to college, it just didn't feel like it was right for me. I ended up dropping out of college, working in a restaurant. I had a, I had a lot of fun working in a restaurant. I learned that I think I really enjoy um, serving people. like trying to make them, you know, I like when, I like seeing people happy. So working at Johnny Rockets at a restaurant here, um, like making food for people, making shakes and then getting compliments from them. That always made me feel better. So 
I learned that about myself. I like serving people and uh, I think my biggest goal is to own a gym. I'm really into fitness. Uh, you might have seen some of the fitness videos on the channel and uh, I like to credit fitness to uh, helping helping me a lot because yeah, during that during that time in high school after after high school when we broke up I was like really lost but uh, I was into working out that, that kept my mental health really good and um, I started working at Johnny Rockets and I met a lot of cool people there but again like I'm friends I, I'm good at making friends with people but I'm not good at keeping those connections so um, like right now I'm 28 live at home still with my parents and my family I'm a I'm the second oldest of four kids and yeah we all still live at home um, I think that's like a very Filipino thing to do uh, Asian parents you know when I told my mom uh, I didn't want to go to college of course she was she was uh, devastated by that you know they always want to see their kids succeed but she was a lot more understanding of that than uh, than our dad and you know our, you know dad's strict Asian dad they just straight sh tunnel vision thinking like go to school do this do this but I for sure want to prove to prove to my my parents that you know you don't have to go to school to be su considered successful you know success is just like um, it really isn't like based on uh, your own perspective you know you don't Something I learned too, you never want to compare yourself to others because you'll always feel like uh, you might not be good enough or something. So, so something, uh, someone I'm really, I really look up to, UFC fighter named Israel Adesanya. Uh, he made a video about basically living your own life and he, 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 there's a really good message in the video. I'll probably put a link into in it and the dude loves anime he's like in his 30s he's a he's a freaking ufc middleweight champion and he said his life didn't really get pop until like his late 20s and something that i had to get through my head like everyone lives their life in their own way everyone takes their takes their own path no two lives are the same everyone's gonna find their find their own thing you know of course you're gonna get a bunch of critics a bunch of criticisms from other people a bunch of you'll feel a bunch of i don't know pressure from like parents family and whatnot because i that's how i felt i was a really good student everyone had high or has high expectations of me like ever since from middle school or elementary school i've always been like accelerated class high school taking ap classes looking like i'm gonna be going through college this and that go to college and then it just didn't feel right for me decided to drop out and yeah I had some emotional times in my life like talking to my parents about it cried a few times my aunt and uncle coming over talking to me crying about it and I don't know it just felt it just felt like for sure a big disappointment like I was a, a family disappointment and that's why I enjoy anime so much because there's so many characters that I relate to and I can see myself like in their shoes and seeing like I can get out of this situation and you guys you guys are like one of the steps for me to <clears throat> whoa 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 Yeah, you guys are like a step for me, showing me that. I'm going in the right direction. <clears throat> Whoa. And yeah, I'm really grateful for you guys. Um, <sighs> so yeah, <laughs> I did not think I was gonna get emotional, but you know, things happen. <clears throat> And that's something else I wanted to talk about too. Um, there's another UFC fighter named Patty Pimblett, 
and there's like this stigma around uh, men like not being able to show their emotion and stuff and if you watch my ranking of King's reactions, you, you'll see that on episode 2, I was already crying my eyes out with Boji um, in one of the episodes of Arcane, I think I was getting teary-eyed too. Um, in Kaguya-sama, I was crying in a rom-com. And yeah, Patty Pimblett was talking about like, if you're ever going through something, talk it out, you know. There's a stigma in this world that men can't talk. Listen, if you're a man and you've got weight on your shoulders and you think the only way you can solve this by killing yourself, please speak to someone. Speak to anyone. Uh, the more you hold, hold those emotions in, the worse you're gonna feel. You might, something in your, in your mind might trigger and you might make a wrong decision, you know? Uh, I'll post a video of one of uh, his interview talking about that too because it's very powerful and you know in this day and age there's a bunch of influencers out there you know and I want to be one of the ones that people can look to can talk to and feel comfortable talking to and I'm just a regular dude watching anime who likes working out and and yeah the fact that a hundred people are sub to me I, I'll keep saying it. It's crazy, you know. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and to show that appreciation, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway uh, for 100 subs. I, I'm not. I'm not too good with this. This is going to be the first time of me doing giveaway, so I'm not going to be doing like a, a prize or something because I don't want to. I don't have a PO box. Uh, I'm not going to give my address out. But I've used Venmo a lot, and um, if you got a Venmo. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for 100 subs, I'm going to be giving away $100, so that's me showing my appreciation to you guys, and to enter it, um, leave a comment in the video saying which, which video or show brought you to my channel, and uh, make sure you turn on and make your subscriptions public because I can't see everyone who's subbed to me. Uh, I don't know if I'm dumb, but I can only see people who make their subscriptions public and that's who I can who I'm gonna be putting in um, the giveaway people who leave a comment and if they're a subscriber of mine just to show my appreciation to you guys um, so yeah uh, first video without the mask you know and again I thank you guys so much uh, Maybe I'll do another one of these if like a Q&A video if uh, I get to a certain another certain sub count if you guys want to know more about me I just talked very vaguely um, But yeah, I just wanted to show my thanks to you guys This is my face the rest of my face. Oh, you guys caught me at a bad time too because my face decided to break out This was like the main reason I wore a mask because I felt so awkward with a mask or without a mask Showing like my acne scars and if I broke out, but I'd much rather do videos without it on. And uh, my skin is really sensitive, so if I eat like too many sweets, dairy or whatever, I'll break out. But I'm not going to give up eating that stuff. I'll deal with the acne. But uh, yeah, that was like the main reason I wore a mask. Um, so yeah, now the mask is off. You guys get to see all my acne scars. And I get my hair cut every two months. Ever since COVID started, since I don't even go out that much. So yeah, you guys caught me at a bad time, but I'm really grateful for the 100 subs, guys. Um, again, if you want to join the giveaway, leave a comment. Make sure you turn your subscriptions to public so I can see you. Uh, I'll probably do it in two days, so I'll let the video collect comments or whatever for two days. And um, I... I, I planned this video all the way back at like 50 subs and I already know I'm forgetting so much stuff. <laughs> uh, so bad. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I know this video is probably a bit long-winded, but I'll do my best to cut out any dead space or whatever. So thank you guys again for 100 subs. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the other ones. 
Oh yeah, and real quick, this really is my closet. So let me just show you guys. See this? The door got a little pull-up station there. can't even see it. It's dark in there. But yeah, that's my room. Alright, bye-bye.